Citizens of Buzz Nation, brothers and sisters, we are trusting and believing that everything within you is aligned and we are hoping that all things are going as the way you have purposed them or planned them to go in your life. We are coming back with some more exciting reports from the one and only a year state of Burkina Faso coming back to you with news from Ibrahim Traore and the message that he had for Africans and Africans in the diaspora during the National Culture Week in Burkina Faso which was recently held in the country and we saw a lot of African diasporians in attendance. Your Mama Africa Dr. Arikana Chiomborikwa was also in attendance. Beautiful event that attracted a lot of Africans and Pan-Africanists who have the same goal of developing the continent of Africa. So this is the message that Captain Ibrahim Traore had for Africans and Africans in the diaspora. This is what he said. How are our cities? We can develop them. Our systems of health education, we can develop them all. Here is it that in the diaspora we have all the specialities. Today in Burkina Faso, we are thinking about creating a polytechnic university only to train scientific engineers. And I think you'll be welcome to come and teach our young brothers. Because as long as we don't train the youth so that we can by ourselves produce and transform here on site, we will remain slaves. Sovereignty is a whole lot of things. We are fighting for food sufficiency. Those who can invest in the food industry to transform our produce right here are welcome. We produce everything here. Everything grows on our soils. We have experimented everything in about a year or so. Everything grows in Burkina Faso. Those who want to invest in agriculture are welcome. Those in transformation are welcome. Education, we want to transform education because the brainwashing that we are living started from school. They have channeled us so that the intellectuals they have trained cannot escape the furrows they have traced for us. Thank God people are waking up. We need more. We need to change the educational system. You are welcome. And there are many other ways. They were plundering our wealth. And today we are taking back control. And we will never again let our wealth be plundered. Because we want to live. We want our children to be cared for, educated, grow up in peace, and live in a wealthy environment. So we are open and you will be welcome to Africa to develop your continent to unite your continent and pass on the message of unity. It is very important. Continue to pass on the message for youth to wake up, that they no longer let us leaders make them slaves of others. This must not be allowed. There are some countries today where we want to pass on messages, but I think your voices carry even more because you are ambassadors wherever you are. Whether in America, in Europe, in the Caribbean, you are ambassadors. And when you speak, you can wake up. I urge you to speak. This is the mission that I entrust you to wake up the continent. Enjoy your stay. May God be with you. Thank you so much. Well, thank you to you, Captain Ibrahim Traore, for being the man that you are, not letting down the people of Burkina Faso, just continuing the vision that our own, our very, very own Thomas Sankara has always had. You are a continuation of this, and we are just proud to see that Burkina Faso, the land of the upright man, is still the land of the upright man, and you are the man who stood up to say, I can no longer allow the oppressor to continue oppressing my people. I will do whatever it is, even if it's sacrificing my life. This is a huge sacrifice, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, and we don't take it for granted because wow, 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 wow. So these are my take-home points, yeah? He's talking about the youth, the importance of young people to wake up and wake others up. You people, if there are people we need to rely on for Africa to develop and for Africa to change, it's the young people. The older generation, Right now, we cannot rely on them. Look at our leaders. We have a lot of very old leaders in Africa who most of them are just sleeping in meetings. They don't even know what they are doing. Most of them are taking orders from their masters and just being puppet presidents, really. We are the only people who should not allow this to happen to our country because we are the future of this continent. If we let things just pass by right now, Trust me, you are children who live in the same conditions that we have been living in, that these leaders are also leaving us in. Captain Ibrahim Chara has a very, very, very soft spot for young people and children, especially
especially children that's the reason he's also talking about education our education system is just messed up we have been trained to continue this slavery mentality we have been educated so that we can just continue with the system that was put in place to continue making us enslaved and we are the only ones to break the chains guys the chains are now mentally mental slavery is the worst it's even worse than what our forefathers went through because when you talk to some people and you just listen to their reasoning and their thinking capabilities you are like my goodness what kind of era is this person living in they cannot even reason to the smallest thing that the oppressor is doing to us we have so many tools of oppression we have religion we have it's just too much i don't even want to dwell into religion because that is another tool that the oppressor has used successfully to continue oppressing us so we the young people are the ones to change this narrative that we have as african people if you realize in his speech captain ibrahim Tari doesn't talk about natural resources or raw materials he talks about wealth and until we look at these things as our wealth that is the only time we realize how wealthy africa is because as long as we see this as raw materials and you know minerals and i don't know what we do not see the value that these things have for our countries and our continent and how they can help us to develop the reason you see some countries saying take up 30 acres of land they give our land to some foreign countries these people take over and they discover minerals and you know wealth in those lands and they exploit and they take and they go and develop themselves so as long as we see these things as raw materials and just you know meaningless piece of materials then we will not realize how wealthy africa is we need to start looking at our land as our wealth because in that land we hold a lot of wealth that we should also be protecting when the invader comes we are like no you cannot occupy our land anymore because that is where our wealth is stored that is where god has protected our wealth and only a stupid african president or stupid african leader or stupid african youth can let an oppressor or an invader come and occupy land that does not belong to them exploit it without even wanting to find out what is really happening in those areas so young people africans africans in the diaspora this is a call to you from the one and only captain ibrahim Traore, the upright man that said i am doing this for my people i don't care what anybody thinks about me or what anybody wants to do to me just for being a good man for my people i am doing this i'm taking up the call thomas sankara left it here i'm taking over what about you are you ready to take it over are you ready to share some of these videos are you ready to educate young people in your area are you even ready to wake them up when you see them you know they are taking things lightly and not understanding these issues better are you that person who's here to wake up other people in africa because we need to wake each other up as long as we still have sleeping young people sleeping old men and women sleeping children then we will never develop as a continent it's just going to be a continuation of the same same cycle all over again and people will be wondering why is it that africa is wealthy but africa is poor you know it's because we're all asleep and people are getting wealthier and wealthier from our wealth let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. What do you think about Captain Ibrahim Trare? As it is right now, I am just fascinated by this leader. And one day, Captain, if you are watching this video, please, we need to meet and have a sit down because, wow, what an intelligent man. What? Oh, man. I am just amazed by you, Captain, and the work that you are doing in your country, Burkina Faso. Keep doing that work for your people, and hopefully we will get the messages to the rest of the African continent, and people will wake up and start voting in leaders that are there to help them develop their countries and not help the oppressor develop himself. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.